In a related development, a group of NGOs have called on or has called on the federal government to, as a matter of urgency, declare a state of emergency and flooding in the country, and also urge the government to provide relief materials for victims, as well as take proactive steps to forestall future occurrences. Emmanuel Hijri's report is presented from our studios. A group of NGOs have lent their voices to the incidents of flooding in many parts of the country, and particularly Kogi State, where 160 communities were submerged underwater, with many killed and displaced many, and properties worth millions of naira destroyed. According to the leader of the group, Ene Obi, these floods are coming amid concerns by the United Nations and the World Bank that 19.4 million Nigerians across 21 states and FCT could face food insecurity starting from August 2022. So I think we're having one of the worst times. And in 31 states, that's a huge emergency. How many meetings are going on in the government circles about this emergency now? This is what we're raising. It is an emergency. The attention we pay to life, the dignity of life, itself is it's overwhelming. The group also called on the federal government to act fast by providing relief materials for victims and the states affected, as well as take proactive steps to forestall future occurrences. We are dealing with extreme level of deprivation of human basic needs. We are talking of people not even having places to sleep. We have to lie down because there is no way to lie down. So people have been standing for days, and including children and women, and including pregnant women. But then, to make it worse, we are talking of people living with disabilities. So it's difficult to use the press conference of this nature to give you a breakdown of the enormity of what we're doing here. It's a responsibility of not just the federal government, but also the state government and even the local government. You know, we're hearing stories about many communities displaced and no one nobody is coming to their aid. You know, a number of organizations are already responding at their individual level. For instance, Christian Aid is doing a couple of things at the moment. We've already responded in Kogi to the few communities. We've responded in Plato to the few communities. We are responding in Sokoto. We are responding in, uh, uh, in Kaduna to a few communities as well. But whatever this Christian Aid is doing, or Afton is doing, or Plan is doing, or Care is doing, cannot amount to what, if the federal government takes this necessary action, you know, would result to for the country. I think what is important here today, you know, for it is that it's about our humanity. If we are concerned about people like us, we need to take certain actions. And we all have a responsibility in this. Over 790,254 have been displaced so far, with 600 deaths recorded across the country, according to the statistics gathered so far. Rivers, Niger, and Benue broke their banks every year from the shedding of excess water from Lagdo Dam in Cameroon, leading to severe flooding, and Kogi State is usually the worst hit. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.